Hi, this is Jody King Colgrove with Quantum Techniques. We have developed a proven technique to quickly determine the root cause of your health issue using a form of energy medicine. So today I were, wanted to work and talk to you about uh, pets and my dog Star here. And um, we love going on walks in the morning, but we have found that there's a lot of times um, walks can really impact dogs in a negative way with toxins. So. Um, my old dog, and right when she was a puppy, we would walk on a golf course. And there are several things that can get contaminants on a golf course. So the first one is they water the golf course with water that has bromide in it. And bromide affects their thyroid. So what happens is that they, um, my last dog had to have some kind of thyroid medicine because her thyroid was low. You know, now I know more about that. And so um, I don't walk her on golf courses, but there's also a lot of uh, pesticides and fertilizers that are on golf courses that can impact pets too. Um, the other thing is um, this, she, when we first started doing this, she would get a lot of, um, eat a lot of feces on the golf course. Um, I lived in an area that had lots of um, elk and, and deer. Um, and so she would eat those things and get <laughs> really sick. Um, we moved to another area where they had a lot of geese and that um, she got two different kind of pesticides. One was ringworm and the other one was um, giardia from eating the feces. But just because you're in a neighborhood doesn't mean it's safe that much safe either. Um, we don't know what people are putting on their lawns, fertilizers, pesticides, Roundup, um, there's also feces, you know, out there too, um, usually cat feces that she sometimes can get into. Um, there's also old trash, old food that's around that they get off of the street and pick up. Um, there could be some mold on the ground and also in the bushes if they get into that. I've noticed that even on the street, they pick up a lot of heavy metals and also um, petrochemicals from the cars and things like that that can impact them. So what do we do? Well, we have uh, a product that one of our um, practitioners sells that does quantum techniques. And um, it's a, literally a, a cleaner, but it can be used for cars, it can be used for um, concrete, it can be used for boats. Um, but I have found that this is the, one of the best products that help her uh, and clean her up. So I actually clean her paws with this. Not only does it help clean up all the things I just mentioned, but it also helps lim minimize mold. And so this is kind of an all-purpose uh, protectant. And um, you can get it off the website, which is btsproducts.com. And so I do highly recommend this as a cleaner. So I just put, uh, get a damp cloth, spray it, wash all of her feet. I also wash her belly in case it's been a lot of uh, water that she's gotten into or the grass was wet. I'll find that it will, um, the residue will keep on that area. So I'll clean that too. So what can you do to help protect your pets from um, these kind of things? Well, I found learning how to muscle test is invaluable because it really does help you know, okay, where are they sniffing? And so if she goes to a certain bush, I can test, okay, is she smelling chemicals? Is there a bad pet smell there? Or is she getting into um, you know, feces or something that's bad? Um, I can also find out which yards use pesticides. So if there's a particular yard that I find is always test bad, then I just try to walk around the other side of the street. Um, also remember what time of year it is. Spring and fall are typically your times where people work on clean, cleaning up their yards, putting fertilizers and pesticides on it, and that's gonna be the most challenging for them. Um, my particular area, spring tends to be the most challenging. And so we have to really make sure that she has a really good, strong immune system before going into that. Um, and so I wash her feet um, at the front door as much as possible. So I'm not tracking that in. I also make sure that the, um, the shoes that I'm walking on, I don't track those throughout the house too. So that's really helpful. So those are some things that help make your walk with your dog much more fun and more healthy for you. So this is from Jody and Star at Quantum Techniques. You can visit our website at quantumtechniques.com and you can download lots of great material and learn more about what Quantum Techniques does and how we do it and learn more about different um, videos that help your health. And you can request a session to work with me to help you or your dog um, have a healthy immune system both summer and winter. All right, blessings from Quantum Techniques.